Hi, and welcome to our new video. This video is about the progress we've made renovating the small house. It's about how much money the property actually costs us and why we chose this property in particular. And I'll tell you something about how we try to keep the cost of the renovation low. So let's begin. Progress is going well, and we have moved on to building the space for the kitchen. After removing the ceiling in order to raise it, we insulated the roof, and now we will add the gypsum boards and paneling to close the ceiling and walls. Besides closing up the kitchen, we also started painting in the bedroom. It's crazy to think that this room first did not exist, and now we're painting the ceilings, walls and paneling. We definitely wanted to add color to the house, but since it's a small cabin, we decided to keep it light. We like the results so far.
On video, it looks kind of yellow, but in reality, it's more of a greenish brown color. In our story six, you could see us starting to build a building closet in the bedroom. Here I am finishing it so we can continue painting. It is a small house, but this corner did not have a function yet. We decided it would be a perfect spot for a space to put our clothes. We used wood we found in the barn. We sanded the planks and decided to paint it in the same color as the paneling to keep the room bright and calm.
We've been questioned a lot about how much money our property actually costs. So let's look into that. In Sweden, you can buy houses in every price range and especially in the countryside, houses can be relatively cheap. Um, we did have some preferences before we started visiting properties and uh, gained even more preferences when we did start to visit. For example, uh, we found out a lot of forest has been cut uh, or will be cut and we didn't want that to happen to our neighboring forests, so we wanted our own. Uh, we also didn't want any neighbors and we didn't want it to be too far up north. Even though we like winter, we also like the other seasons, um, especially for the vegetable garden. Um, and lastly, we definitely wanted a fixer-upper. After visiting about seven properties, we ended up buying this 4.6 hectare piece of land in the middle of the forest. Uh, it has a house, two cabins, a barn, two sheds, and an earth cellar. It was more than we could hope for, and we immediately loved the place when we first visited. We saw all the potential to make it into the perfect place for us. Um, we ended up paying, uh, after a very stressful bidding war, about 1 million Swedish kroner, which is roughly 100,000 euros. For a complete tour of the property, see Story 1, if you haven't seen it yet. For us, there are a few ways to keep the cost of the renovation within our budget. First, we reuse as much material as we can. If we disassemble some part, or like with the extension of the small house, an entire wall, we reuse those boards, insulation and windows. If we need more materials, we can go take a look in our own barn, where we are lucky enough that the old owners left us a big pile of wood and other useful things. If this all doesn't provide us with enough materials, we go to the hardware store. The nearest hardware store has a bargain corner where we take a look every time we are there. And this made us buy beams and boards with a discount up to 75%, only because they were a bit crooked or dirty. Also, another great thing about Sweden is that they have second-hand hardware stores where you can buy materials taken from old houses ready for demolition or materials ordered for projects that didn't go through. All of this is a great way of saving money on our renovation. When the renovation of the small house is done, we will tell you what the actual costs were in total. This was it for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.